Who doesn't love a good Sunday roast? Some of my favourite memories growing up were sitting in my grandmother's kitchen while she was cooking a roast and teaching me a few of her little tips and tricks along the way. The beauty of cooking a roast is that it lends itself to a variety of different cuts of meat from your more expensive top end cuts through to your more budget cuts. My personal favourite for a roast is a ribeye roast. It's nice, it's simple, it's a great shape and it also cooks evenly throughout because of that. There is an option to, if you want to keep that shape, to string it like we've got here, or if you don't have the time, it'll perform perfectly without that as well. The next is the tenderloin. Now the tenderloin comes from a part of the animal that does very little work, so it's always going to be super tender. Again, you can string the tenderloin so that it holds its shape and cooks evenly throughout, but also tuck the tail underneath so that the end bit doesn't cook too quickly and become too well done through the cook process. The next two cuts come from the rump. They're a less expensive cut, but have got a great texture and an awesome flavor when you're roasting them. And the beauty of roasting is that it is a slower cook method. So these cuts will benefit from that and become tender throughout the cooking process. The first one is the tri-tip. Um, and it's a great shape and a really good one for a, a small family or a couple on, to, to have their roast. The next one is the rump cap. This is a really popular cut in Brazilian cuisine as well, but it's a great roasting piece also. It's got this beautiful fat cover over the top that will only enhance the, the flavours of the beef. One of my grandmother's tips for a great roast was to grab your baking tray, but then put a roasting rack inside it and then place the roast on top of the roasting rack after you've seasoned it and added your favorite marinades. That way you can fit some of your favorite roast veggies underneath that will just cook along with the roast and absorb all those beautiful beefy flavors that come through. All you need to do is pop it in the oven, shut the door so you can spend more time with your family and friends while the roast is cooking away and just doing its own thing. 